You've probably heard the term green initiatives used quite often in everyday conversation. Well, the town of Cleveland, Ohio is taking the notion of being green to heart and it can be seen in their plans to bring sustainability to the city and surrounding community. Because of you, we have established an expectation and a culture in Cleveland about what needs to be done. From this summit, I learned that our economy was based on these cycles of uh, boom and bust, and that the only way that we were going to be able to have a sustainable economy is to get out of the boom and the bus. I quickly learned that the issue of sustainable economy and the issues of sustainability were hand in hand. It was more profitable if you had technology where your light bill would go down. So LED lights was a better proposition than regular lighting. It was cheaper. It was also cheaper if you had a sustainable green practice on disposing of waste so we wanted to demonstrate that you could have a sustainable economy, corporate profit, and a sustainable green approach to life. We have made significant progress changing mindsets of corporations and, and businesses around sustainable practice because they actually see that it's working, that it is more profitable. And a key component of that was having it be done green. And all of these things just came together. This vision has taken on a life of its own in Cleveland, and it continues to make progress every day. Matt Gray, Chief of Sustainability for the city, has seen just how the community has embraced the initiative. Some people still see Cleveland, and they think about, well, that's the city where the river burned. And uh, it is. Uh, but what we can really say is over the last 50 years, since that last time the river burned, we have come a long, long, long way. We have had people from all walks of life helping to make that river cleaner. Um, so you go there today and you can't even imagine that this was once a river that burned. It is absolutely beautiful. There's recreation up and down the river. You have stand-up paddle boarders. We still have industry uh, feed feeding our steel mills. Uh, and we literally point to that as an example of where people power over time, advocates, um, engineers, government, plus good policy. The River Fire helped lead to the Clean Water Act. It helped lead to the creation of the US EPA. So that policy plus people can create these amazing impacts we see down in the river today. So when we think about sustainable Cleveland, you know, I like to think about the, uh, the three E's, uh, the environments, uh, the economy, and equity. And we do not work on anything unless it really hits all three of these. So we look at things like energy efficiency to clean energy. Uh, we look at sustainable transportation, so public transit, to making our streets more bikeable, walkable. Uh, we look at green space, uh, trees. You know, a simple street tree is great for cleaning our air. It's good for mental health. It's good for water absorption. Uh, it's good for energy savings, all these different things. Um, so these are the kind of things we work on the community with to, to really create these common solutions. When we think about sustainability and sustainable solutions, more and more Cleveland, but really I would say almost every city across the country is thinking about how do we lead with equity? How do we ensure when people um, have a chance to live a more sustainable life, how do we make sure everyone has a chance to live that sustainable life, including the people most in need? When we rebuild our economy to create this green economy, uh, who's getting those jobs? Who's getting those jobs in the solar field? Who's getting those jobs in weatherizing homes? Who's getting those jobs to rebuild our forest canopy? So that's what I would stress is, uh, you know, as we move forward, not only how do we benefit, what do we need to do as a city, as a country, but who benefits? Um, and I think that's, we can play a big role in sustainability to not only create a sustainable world, but to create a more equitable world too. Seeing is believing. And if we can take anything away from the work being done in Cleveland, it's that with proper planning and dedication, there's no telling what each of us can accomplish as a community to help make our neighborhoods a better place to live. Oh, and Cleveland rocks. <laughs>